Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. You let down your people every time. You were supposed to have been immortal. That's all they wanted. Not much to ask for. But in the end, you could not deliver. Hal Prince uh, was in a production, A Road to Arata, Chicago, of Evita. Got cast as Che and then wound up being on the road and Hal Prince pulled me out of the road tour, brought me to New York. Um, and I, so it was Che and Evita on Broadway. So I close my eyes and I hear her step and I know she's come to help me. I won the uh, 1993 uh, Tony for Award for Best Supporting Actor for the role of Valentine in uh, Kendra Nebs and Terrence McNally's Kiss of the Spider Woman on Broadway, and which was directed by the incomparable icon of the theater, Harold Prince. I'm not that smart. My siblings have been telling me that for years, that I'm not smart. We're schooled at home. They see who's bright. It breaks my heart. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. And I actually ended up moving to Los Angeles uh, and met a guy named Gary Marshall and uh, did a show for him called Happy Days the Musical for a few years. Sitting in the morning sun I'll be sitting when the evening is done Oh yes! And I was in the movie of Dreamgirls with Beyonce and, and Jennifer Hudson and uh, I really turned the song Sitting on the Dock of the Bay very vanilla. Um, and that's how I got the part where I sang Cadillac Car. I took their soulful, fun song and turned it into like a Pat Boone song. I crashed the junior prom and met the only married man. I'm always on top of romance or chocolate that's bittersweet. You can always count on me. <laughs> I'm singing my hit, which is a... Uh, a really terrific song called You Can Always Count On Me, and it's from a musical called uh, City of Angels. And I'm also singing the iconic uh, superpower ballad, uh, I Dreamed a Dream, which I had the opportunity to originate on Broadway when I played Fontaine in the original company of, of Les Miserables. So I walk on a Broadway stage, or any stage for that matter, and I just, I just feel like I'm home. It's just sort of in my bones, and it's wonderful to be able to tell stories to audiences and get that immediate audience response. Nothing happened underground in Louisiana Cause there ain't no underground in Louisiana I've done seven Broadway shows. I did Jelly's Last Jam. I won the Tony Award for that show. This evening, I'm gonna be singing I Got Four Kids from Carolina Change. And then I have a, an Arlen, Harold Arlen concert that I do. So the other three songs that I'm doing are all Harold Arlen tunes. And he was just, he wrote for Six Day Gates. He's one of the greatest composers of our time. I'm going where I welcome that is, no matter where that is, cause any place If I go see someone who's really talented and wonderful and it inspires a creative idea, the, the desire to bring the vision of something inside of me out there for other people to see is probably the greatest high of my life. I understand what I have got to do to her. to be a football player with a degree in pre-law and I ended up with a degree in vocal performance. To 
took a job on a cruise ship, which was completely random. The cruise ship ended up going from Florida to New York. So on my days in port in New York, I would do auditions. The first one I did, they offered me the job on the spot. It was a tour of um, Ain't Misbehaving with the Pointer Sisters, and I did not take it. I went back to Texas and told my parents, I think there's a place for me in New York. And three months later, I was in a Broadway show. Razzle, 